Hello and welcome everyone to a new video on the topic of neuroanatomical planes. Today's short video will focus on explaining with visual aids the terminology pertaining to neuroanatomical planes that you might come across a lot when studying about the topics within the fields of cognitive sciences or neuroscience more broadly. This video should allow you to become familiar with the common terminology used in cognitive and brain sciences disciplines to refer to specific areas of the brain and neuroanatomy. So without further ado, let's start today's video. In today's short video, we cover two main things. We first start by briefly answering the question, what are neuroanatomical planes and why is it important to learn or study about them? We then move on to learning about the three key neuroanatomical planes. Neuroanatomical planes are hypothesized planes and directions that allow us to map and locate specific parts of interest within the brain. Think of an analogy of a map that allows you to locate the specific locations of say a country or a more local city, or a more immediate location in the neighborhood, like a cafe. Neuroanatomical plants allow us to locate where a specific part of the brain lies. Let's look at an example. This is the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is essentially a bundle of nerve fibers that contralaterally connect the right and the left hemisphere in the brain. A sagittal dissection of the brain allows us to see the corpus callosum perfectly all right. So in this case, the neuroanatomical planes of sagittal dissection is what would be used in the fields of cognitive sciences as a terminology to refer to the corpus callosum. Let's now move on to looking at the neuroanatomical planes themselves. Now there are three key neuroanatomical planes. There's a coronal plane, there's a sagittal plane, and there is a transverse plane. Let's start firstly by looking at the coronal sections or coronal plane. A coronal section or a coronal plane is a vertical plane that crosses the coronal or the frontal plane in the medial to lateral direction. Let's understand this with a visual. Look at this model of the brain and the axis that runs from the center. This central axis represents the dissection that one would perform to achieve a coronal view of the brain. So if we dissect the brain from the top such that it becomes half on the left and half on the right, then the surface that we achieve on both the sides right and left are referred to as coronal planes. To fully consolidate this, let's look at an animation of coronal dissection with the model of a human brain. Let's now move on to the second type of neuroanatomical plane, which is the sagittal section. The sagittal section or the sagittal plane are planes that simply divide or separate the two cerebral hemispheres by dissecting it right through one's corpus callosum, as indicated in the visual with the orange dissection axis. Following a sagittal section, we see that there is a left and a right lobe deduced. It is also one of the most common type of dissections that you might come across. To fully consolidate, let's look at an animation of sagittal dissection with the model of a human brain.
Let's now cover the last type of neuroanatomical plane, which is the transverse section. The transverse section or transverse plane is a horizontal plane that runs parallel to the ground in 90 degrees in a standing human body posture. Let's look at a diagram to make this concept a little more concrete. The dissection of the brain, in the case of a transverse plane, is along the dissection axis given here in black, such that after the dissection along this axis, we can obtain two parts of the brain, upper and lower part, each of them giving us a transverse section view of the brain. Again, to fully consolidate this, let's look at an animation of the transverse dissection with the model of a human brain. All right, so let's quickly summarize. The coronal section or coronal plane is a vertical plane that crosses the coronal or frontal plane in the medial to lateral direction. The sagittal plane, on the other hand, simply separates or divides two cerebral hemispheres by dissecting right through one's corpus callosum. And the transverse section or transverse plane is simply horizontal planes that run parallel to the ground in 90 degrees in the standing posture of a human body. In our upcoming video, we will talk about the nine different types of neuroanatomical directions in detail. All right, so that's the end of today's video. Thank you very much for your attention and your time. The brain animation in today's video were powered by Brain Tutor 3D application created by the Brain Voyager team. We would like to thank the creators of the Brain Tutor 3D application for the permission to use their application for the current and future videos. If you found value in today's video, then don't forget to subscribe to Brain Cyclopedia and join the family of learners. Leave a like, share this video with someone you think will benefit, comment below and let us know your feedback and press the bell icon to stay updated with any and all our new uploads. Join our growing community of learners on all of our social media sites on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. The links of these sites will be given in the description box below. See you in our next video.